Hello, hello, hello. I'm for Paint the Dog and welcome back to episode 7, I believe, of our modded Daddy Skylines Let's Play series. I hope you're having a lovely day. As I see on the right hand side, a truck that I'm, or a sort of truck that I'm actually using in uh, another game that I'm playing Farming Simulator Silver on Forest Map. But yeah, enough of that. Let's get into this. I just had to. Stay here and look at all the vehicles and the people walking at the, in around in this main building. If you can remember from the last episode, we bought another tile and we did a bit of work every, a little bit everywhere. So uh, I'm going to build up on that and let's. Yeah. Let's uh, first off, let's change this interchange here. We might regret regret it later, but for now, I think we need to do it. I'm just going to take that bit off it with cars flying. And now hopefully they will start draining. Just want vehicles to stop using this for now. And then we can take that off. I'm gonna leave that for now. So next up, thing that I really, really wanna do is connect up this road with this bit here. Let's go into bike. I think we used this bad boy right here. We use that one. I can't actually remember, but I'm going to use this one. So let's go up. No, let's go up to 12. Just because we can. And let's take a quick peek at the bridge. Ah, it's actually not too bad looking, eh? Now we can go down. Ground level. Up there. Up there. And now, if we really want to, we can smooth off this bit. Let's move that off. That might be something that we want to do, but I think for now I'll just leave it like that. But the main reason we can extend the road from here all the way. You know what? No. Let's move that off. We can always use one of these other roads and make a new road if we need to. That's also a possibility. There you go. That's not too shabby, eh? Yeah, that's not too bad. Okay. There's still vehicles driving here and just disappearing. I don't understand it. But hey, it's a game. It's really sad to take this one out because I really like the look of this interchange. Last, we need to take that. We want to expand to this side of the river. I'm just going to do something boring. I'm going to use this clover leaf, turn that around, and uh, get a bit of help. Let's use this, and hopefully that's far enough so this thing can line up. I really like if it gave a... You know, a road guideline. That would really have been helpful. 
So that looks relatively lined up. Just gonna commit. Now comes a part. Yeah, yeah, I know. And now we need to level that up to the same height as that. Okay, I don't know what happened there. The game just froze. Kick me out. So let's try that again. So uh, we want. All of this, we want it the same height as that. Now for this, we want that, 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 that. We want the slope. We can always adjust that later on. Let's just do the same thing here. No, it slopes actually not too bad. We need to adjust this bad boy right here. And I need to remember to take out that folder right there. This can't work for us. Okay, that's a lot better. Now we can always adjust, the, just adjust the terrain there. So uh, now that that's connected, we can connect up our highway. Close to straight as possible. We need to take that back a bit more. Okay, that's not too shabby, but I can always fill that in. Now we have a nice flat area to build up a bit of a uh, system. A road system, a road network actually. And in here, I would really have liked it if we can maybe get something curving through there. But I think that might be a bit of an issue. Let's put 10 on that side. 10 on that side. You know, something like that. I just want to play around with a bit of... Uh, the roads. Just because we can. Now you are probably wondering what I'm doing right now. I forgot about that. That's better. Now let's 
force tunnel. You can always adjust it later on. I just want to add in more ways for our little town. Basically be able to get around it. I'm going to leave it like that because we can always expand that out. No, I don't really want to expand out from there. So let's go for this bad boy. And then sometimes stuff like that happens. Then we just rebuild. Now here, as I said, we can just do a bit of this. Not actually what I wanted to do. But let's take that down. That's just a plain old mess. But I'll sort that out of <laughs> I'll sort that out off screen. Sorry about that. That laugh. Okay. So our city is trudging along. It's not too bad. And uh, I did the same thing right here. this bad boy out. Now this clover leaf might get a bit congested. But that's fine. I don't really want to have this the only way to get from this side of town to that side of town. We'll add some other things as well. So first up, let's get a couple of bus depots in here. I'm not going to make this entirely industrial. But, uh, so we'll move this to this side, just to have a small pocket in here. And then we'll add in other buildings in here as well. Because that's a, a problem that you have. If you do some stuff like that, then you always get an issue. So we need bus lines. I'm going to create a bus line from here. Just because we can. And then uh, to there, I'm just going to circle the most part of us. There's luckily quite a lot of uh, connections to walkways through there. So that will help quite a lot. I don't really want to stop on that side. So we have a route from there to this side. Let's create a route from this side. All of this. Now I should just check to see that I don't have any issues with one-way roads. Going through here. take one up to there because there's a park no 
know what? I'm going to do the same on this side. And then we can take the bad boy back. So now this side and that side is connected. For this side, I'm just going to have a bus looping around here. And uh, basically just mirroring that one right there. don't like it that it crosses the traffic there, but hey, gotta do what we gotta do. Okay, so now this is interconnected. People can walk from this bus line to that bus line. And then I would really like to have one, at least one bus line from this area maybe there so that can help people to do what they need to do I'm just gonna get it the bus to go to here yes and it will be a mess now but that's fine You are going through there, that's fine. Let's maybe have one just in there for now. And then we can loop this area right here. Just make sure that we can get this entire area. Right. We have a basics of a public transport system. So hopefully that will help to get a couple of vehicles off the road. And that we adjust this. Keep on forgetting about that. But for now, I'm just going to upgrade this quickly. And then upgrade that back. Just to get those trees off of those roads. And here is a prime example of where we need to have a bit of this. can tell them to actually go I actually don't need to do that just have upgraded or downgraded those now we can tell people where they can and can't go for now just until the next node Make sure that they don't cross in front of each other so close to the interchange. Basically still on in on the interchange. Always sort out where we want to go on that side. We just need to do the same on this side. And the same over here. And while I'm busy with that, I might as well just do the opposite side so long. Because that will get an issue as soon as we build up the other neighborhood. And we don't really want that to turn into an issue so early. 
we don't have a lot of, of sims in this area so we don't really have a reason to have issues like that but yeah i think that will will help us we can play around fixing that and fixing that hideous thing over there but let's take a quick peek at our traffic at 80 percent but so far I only see areas that are heavily used. This will get sorted out as soon as the bus line, buses space themselves out a bit more. Heavy traffic area. I think traffic is flowing quite well. Except for this bit right here. That's because of those two junctions so close to one another. Is there a bus stop right there? Yes, there are. I'm going to move you to over there. Just a little bit further away. From this junction. Okay. But uh, I think this might be the ideal time to build up a new neighborhood right here but I won't let you sit for all of it so hopefully you'll enjoy this time lapse
And I know what you're thinking. He forgot the water pipes. No, I didn't. And I'm wasting a bit of money with playing out the all out because uh, I did that because I know I will forget. So uh, might as well just jump a gun and place everything there. We're still making about 3,900, which isn't too bad. But yeah, no, don't know if you you uh, saw that in the time lapse. But I went in here with a terrain height and I, I put in these roads. I curved this one like this because uh, it's a straight downhill. And you don't usually get that. Oh, you, you get that quite a lot, but it's not, in my opinion, and what I know, the little that I know about down and road layout you don't have to do that because that's a path of erosion and water streaming down and then there's a problem down here so this is a more gradual slope and we can add in some more road networks in here but yeah i think just to end off this episode i think it would be a good idea because if you take a look at this forestry area we're producing 81 tons of product, 64 is going straight through, 7 tons for paper, 10 tons for planed timber. The 7 tons is because I placed in another pellet plant because we need paper. Because what I want to do is add in a furniture factory. The furniture factory requires plain timber and paper special goods to manufacture their valued products. So I think let's add in one of these bad boys. Be nice if we can squeeze it in here somewhere. I li I'd like to keep these things close by. So let's place that in there. And then hopefully. I have a paper printing press. Needs paper and plastic special goods. We can place that, but then they'll ex import the uh, plastic. But I think for now, let's just leave it like that. And we'll see what this turns out for us. I think that will be a nice thing. So, to end off this episode, what did we do? We added in another biomass pallet plot and a furniture factory. We added in a road connecting this forestry area to this area right here. At this stage, it's still just the industrial area, but that will change. We also added in a road from this area to our initial city. And uh, we added in this cloverleaf interchange that will get a bit busy, granted. Uh, but we will sort that out when we get there. And we added in this entire area here, which we can expand on later, later on. But I think that will be a good place to call this quits. And just so you know off screen I sorted that bit out and I sorted this out just quickly but yes that's still a bit strange but that's okay yeah I think that will do we can sort out that road because that's starting to irritate me but yes I hope you enjoyed this episode and I hope to see you in the next one. Cheerio!